Should be good. Welcome back, everyone. Ronan here. Let's just double check. Yeah, everything's good. Cool. Uh, that can be up there. Actually, all of us here. Because this does not take most of my screen. I need a control. All right. So it's raining out. I was planning on doing some welding. But since I don't have a workshop yet, uh, welding outside in the rain, I don't want to. So uh, might as well play games. And um, I mean, yesterday, I think uh, the King Arthur game, is it King Arthur? Uh, came out. Okay, I still have space for characters. We're saving one for blue. No. Do I still have May on here? I still have May on here. We're getting blue and probably Lyle. I think Lyle has more range than everybody else, so that's why I like him. Anyway, don't don't need May. She just doesn't keep up. But I think she has my strength ring, so we'll have to check. Uh, start battle. I mean, it won't be a big deal. Like one character less, whatever. Because then there's also another mage, but that's pretty far in. And then, uh, oh yeah, there's Musashi Hanzo. Talkity talk. Anyway, how's everyone doing today? All right. Domingo. Now, I'm probably going to reach a grind spot. If that's the case, I'm not sure if I'll go offline and grind, or maybe I'll just stick around and you guys can kind of see. It might not take as long as I think it will, but it tends to take a long time. But I'm already higher level than uh, I normally would be, or if I had a full group, so... I mean, there's that. Uh, who's fighting... I think Guns is trying to get more XP, because he's slow. Oh, I won't. I'm not in the right tile. On the Game Boy version, it's kind of hard to, to tell sometimes which tile you're actually on. When you're looking from it like, coming south, from north to south. Not worried about her. She'll level really easily. Come on, fast forward. Yep. For a mage, Domingo is great. Although, I probably should have gone for these three. If you're playing on the Genesis version, these three may be more separated than this. So. He could always double back. <sighs> How do you miss? Like, oh, it's a giant conch shell. Wait, I have Ernest? I don't think I want Ernest. That's, that's where my math is off. Okay. He can die. Whoa, what the? What? What is happening here? Okay, maybe I'll keep uh, guns back here. Take care of those knights. <clears throat> There's no delaying though. So that kind of sucks. Uh, someone might have to go poke them. Attack does not mean anything for him. You just want MP and HP. Defense, I guess, is just gonna be natural. He tends to only take, like, one damage. Hmm. Nah. Well, yeah, because... Kokichi can probably hit the, uh... Flyers better. I might have some characters promoted before my grind spot. Oh! Bolt. Yeah, he can die, it's fine. Turns out knights are not that great! Well, it depends on the knight. Some just joined too late to be worth the, uh, the the time to upgrade them compared to other characters but we'll see with blue we'll see if I'm wrong because I've had good and bad um, I guess progress with him so 
we'll just keep an eye. I did move my mic, and it seems like I'm hitting the noise gate, so I'll keep an eye out. Maybe I'll be less, ex less excited. It's typical man my age. Oh, get dicks! I mean, he seems strong. Maybe I'll have to read up the stat growth for each knight. Because, I mean, you, you get May, Ken, Pell, Ernest, Arthur. Technically the only ones on horses, right? No, uh, Valkyr, so that's six. Six possible knights. And then, I guess, uh... He counts as a knight, technically. Because he's a sky knight, and the other one's a steam knight. Nope, I don't need AoE. I think the uh, XP not... Starting back at zero, the, the leeching over the XP is really good and probably what's making me uh, level faster. Yep, she can take a hit. <laughs> How many times am I going to miss on this one? Hey, you go back. I'm gonna come help here. There we go. Okay, they moved. If he dies, he's gonna stay dead until maybe one of my other characters that I want to keep dies. Oh boy, like this guy? Uh. That was close for a tank. <laughs> there you go. I knew I should have faith in him. <clears throat> and that is a big problem with guns, so is he's just too slow. And most, most people might not want to invest time into him, but he's worth it. Technically, he is a secret character, so I think he is. He's just easy to find. A seven. Sure, he can kill that. On my new game plus, maybe I'll swap out some characters. What I should do take, is take a few screenshots to compare my character's endgame. So I can actually have stats to compare to for other characters we're going to swap out. Just to do some tests. That's if I have time to do a new game plus. Uh, before, I want to try Brigandine on the Steam. I have King Arthur that just released. It's probably something with the Hand of Merlin that should be releasing soon, if it hasn't released. Uh, there's quite a few games. And then there's um, Pathfinder 2, I forget the rest of it, has a new DLC. I have a really hard time sitting down and enjoying Pathfinder. It's not that it's bad, it's just fine, there's just so much. Just even starting your party, creating your first character. Whew. But I am glad that Baldur's Gate 3 is not releasing until 2023, like I called it earlier. Uh, like, as soon as it came out, I said, nah, it's gonna be either late 2022, like, December or 2023. People didn't believe me, but hey. I think it's for the best. Plus, it gives me time to build my, uh, my garage or my workshop. Uh, hopefully, I'm waiting for quotes right now for metal. <clears throat> and then potentially building my own sawmill. I'm looking into it. Uh, Xylo can wreck things up. 
Oh, I should get Zuka's card. Yeah, I need to go try to friendship him. I need to stop forgetting this. It's taking more damage from poison than just battles. I thought more spawned here. Maybe it's a turn-based thing? Like, after a certain amount of time, more spawn? Oh, okay, well. If we can finish this in less than four turns, it's crazy. Oh, she's strong. I didn't think she was gonna hit that hard. I knew she was competent, but... But so far, May let us down. Five grand. Okay, we're at the Mermaid Islands. I never realized he was a uh, dragon-like thing. I thought he was a dog. Almost looks more like an octopus. Or face grabber. Face hugger? Face hugger. Alright. Okay, let's go talk to Zuka and Narsha. Domingo, do we have your card? Yeah, we do, right? Okay. Moloch, uh, probably won't expect it till the end of the game. But I gotta come and check it in every... Uh, after every fight. That's guns, I have his card. Where's Zuika? Right there. Cool. All right. We have his. Narsha. I forgot to pull up the card thing, but I... I think this is pretty much all of them. We just need Hanzu and Musashi. Hanzao. Oh, shouldn't whistle. Mic is on. Hey, King Salesman. Oh, I might need money here. Okay, uh, any deals? Duelist. Eh, I don't need that. Bye. Windring. Evasion by 5%. So technically you can get 15% evasion with these rings on. Uh, I won't bother. But I'll try to remember which area has the best rings. It's bad when government puts policy together that the king can be the only shop owner. Sure, who wants it? I don't think anyone can use it. I'm not upgraded yet. I will pass. I think I typically pass here on the loot until the next act. Power Spear, I don't think anyone can... I think I'm already... Yeah, knights get shafted with their equipment. Yep. What's left? Steel Lance, probably, but no. Battle Axe, I don't think he can use. Plus, he's got the Heat Axe that I never gave him. Gort! Can't equip. Okay, he has to be upgraded. Power staff I could use. No one's using them. Elven arrow, I don't think so, because it's an upgraded weapon. Technically though, you could be um, promoting your characters, but you're giving yourself a disservice if you're upgrading before level 20. 
20 is cap of uh, base classes. Cool. Heavy mace, I already have. Life loaf. It's a boy! Agility ring and... Shower cure, yeah. Agility ring might be good. Is that the mobility? Ooh. Oh, I think he did die. Ernest. Agility ring. Movement. Okay, that goes to guns right away. Now he'll be a normal character, basically. So he goes from four to six. Most characters, even your hero, is six. So now he's, yeah, he's a normal character. Six is like a warrior. Gong. Everybody else is six, so he's average. Instead of being the slowest character. Um, then there was Mei that might have... Powering. Okay, who is lacking in power right now? Probably Kokichi. I keep hearing noises. All right, I'm probably gonna give the power ring to Blur when he comes in. Okay, go fix my boat. Okay. Rum. Okay, so this is where we can get Hanzu in this version. Hanzo? Okay, there's the boat we can use. There's a fish. Okay. It might be after this fight. Oh, but I don't remember. I don't want to miss out on him. Okay. So let's check out every sign we can find. Yeah, I don't want to promote just yet. Book. We read the sign. Innkeeper. Yeah, I think it's after because there are places I can't go yet. Yeah? Just double check. Okay, there's another sign. Strange creature advisory. Floating on the sea. Used to be a sign here, I believe. Yeah. We came here just to see the reef. I'm gonna save just in case a state, safe state, in case I can't come back. I'm missing something, but let's see. Did she move? No. Yeah, it's worth the risk. Yeah, you don't have a choice to go do the fight, right?
<laughs> Maybe I shouldn't wake him. He just turned around. Three clues herald addition to the ranks. All three must be red. So I think I read two. Oh, right. He's not here in the, um, yeah, in the original. And I thought it was a skeleton, but it looks a lot like Adam. Just pointing that out. Uh, I don't have my boat. Okay, so maybe I can't. See, there's the other sign, which I can't go get. Okay, so let's assume you get... It's either Hanzo or Musashi. Later. You don't usually get him here, I don't think. But he's worth picking up. And can be upgraded. So to me, I always look like a skeleton on the Genesis version. Yeah, it's Adam. And then Adam took the teleport to get back to wherever he was going. Correct? Yeah. You meet Adam later, for those of you that don't know. There's so many portals, and yet they've never used them properly in the game. I don't need him. Yep. How many turns? 6,000 gold in 10 turns. It won't take 10 turns. I usually have magic to deal with this, but uh, I don't have range really or magic. Okay, is anybody on the... Okay, I thought there were enemies on the left or right. Nope. I hate these areas because sometimes you can't get out with your, the right characters. Um, I don't want to upgrade him. Because Moloch's kind of useless. I mean, as a fighter. Okay, let's split up. Uh, Guns is gonna get doubled. So I'll send him left with someone that doesn't get the two turns. Zuka. Now the skeletons here, I think, have guns. So be careful because they're upgraded skeletons. They're not your typical ones. I, as far as I can remember. So mage goes first. Send Domingo with him. Probably a mistake though, because now I can't target him with someone that doesn't have ranged attacks. Port Xylo North. That leaves Kokichi on the right. Nope! Alright, that's weird. Ah. Yeah, you need to be uh, leveled up there, buddy. Move this one. We'll do the sides, and then the center should be able to push out. I probably only need to kill the top guy, though, to be honest. Yeah, that ring was uh, handy.
I'm just curious how Rumble actually works. Am I gonna get my ass kicked? Potentially. But at least there's no permadeath. So. Alright, so it's working. Uh, I think Xylo needs to catch up more than Gort. Uh, but you were going to go with. Oh yeah, gum. Wondering why I got some earlier and it just didn't pop it in. Oh, come on. Fingers aren't working. They did no damage. I guess they're not afraid of their... They don't take damage from coal? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, maybe it's not these. Maybe it's the next ones that have the guns. I think they have an axe or dual wield axes. I thought for sure it was here, though. Three attacks is good. Hmm, some damage, eh? Thing is, I can still get hit from from this tile, actually. One tile up. Hopefully, you can take 15 damage. More defense. Speed. Speed. My characters need to learn how to hit. Okay, well, you're useless right there. Go the other way. So now Moloch's done his job. Now he can do whatever, but he's not that strong. I guess I could try to... Is he gonna die? No, because you can kill it, right? Okay. Um, I can give him a card so he can become a fighter, but the, an extra turn on another character is just too good to pass up. In my opinion. Whoa, you did 30? Was it not full? Okay, well, Freeze does no damage on them.
Yeah, these two are gonna wreck everything. Just gotta wait till next turn. Come on, don't leave me with just speed. We'll see. Kokichi might be the weakest we have right now. But, yeah. Well, it's not called. Count on him. I have no cards. Yeah. Attack three, defense one. Those are the stats that matter. Okay, now we can go. We're not. I mean, I could probably just kill him, right? And then the fight should end. Oh, does he have two turns? Bro, well, probably they have the same speed. That'll speed things up, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I still don't have my memory. <clears throat> Not dead yet. So they blocked it with boulders. What about all the other paths? I mean, it makes more sense to block it with water. Can't go back there now somehow. They someone removed it, but Anywho. Okay. Take the boat. There's the oh. Okay. Kinda weird. A cross atop the spire. So that would mean the cross. Okay, we already opened this one. Strange creature advisory has been lifted. Okay, we'll go see our daughter. Not that it matters. Okay, is there another? No. Okay, so that was it. It says a cross atop the spire, which I think what they mean is just this here. Where's the other sign? Was in there. I should double check him because he might have a bookshelf. And I'm pretty sure there used to be something here, but that could be another town, I would assume now. Oh yeah, the third one was here. Or... Floating on the sea, a fish, a boat. I may have to look up because I think I thought it was uh what's his name that came out of here? Unless there's an order. 
I'm pretty sure he's here. What about that boat? Okay, I'm gonna look it up because I don't want to miss out on him. But I checked all the signs. Unless he just secretly joins, but I thought he told you that he had joined. I don't want to say yes, I want to leave just yet. Because uh, in case... By leaving, I lose out on the character. Yeah, can't leave without the king's permission. And he's not here, right? Nope. Signs. Oh man, this is bad. Nothing. Not missing anything here. Okay, I'm gonna look it up because it is not the same as the base game. Now check these three. It's the same sign. Is there anything here? No. Okay, let me look it up real quick because, um... Should be... I think I've, I've checked everything uh, I can think of that is secret. What about that shit? Come on. I do miss games that you could push, uh... A button to just skip dialogue, like start or. Okay, you can't get off here. Oh, you can. It says something about floating on the water, so to me, I'm thinking one of these boats. But nothing. Okay. This boat? Can I get in? Oh boy. Okay, I've checked everything I can think of. I thought it had to do with the fish, though. I really don't know. Um, I, is it Hanzo or Musashi comes in first? Uh, Shining Force, GBA, Secret Characters. That's the dress change, Chaos Card, Adam Mamon. These are not sacred. These are. Musashi, after talking with King of Prompt, search the large building with two doors. Card is on the walls. I don't want his card. I want the character. 
I mean, a card too, but. Hanzao. Read all the signs in, memory, in Mermaid Village, then search the furniture in the church. Go to the big fish and you will join. Okay. The thing is, I thought we did that. I read all the signs. Go to the church. The church is... Not that one. Not that one. That furniture. And he hasn't joined. So... Ah, okay, I think I see. I think I know which sign we haven't looked at. Weapon sale. Weapon item for sale. So I hadn't read those two cards. Let's see if that's what change. Nope, still not here. Did I miss a sign? Oh yeah, you also said interact with the fish after all the signs, so... Well, we did that. Hmm... I've done this in the past. Only thing I can think of is that maybe there's another sign I haven't checked, like that sign? Okay, it's not that. Are there any other signs in here? <laughs> Did the end have a sign? Jesus, it looks like you could cross, but... Nope. There used to be a sign here. And it says something about double doors as well. That's weird. Makes no sense. Because, uh... Unless it was before the fight. Although I did save. But then you wouldn't have been able to talk to that one sign. Okay, let's try it before the fight so shift f1 f2 is that if i go to f5 okay there's nothing in the book strange creature lifted floating on the sea fish I might have to redo that fight but uh, that is all I could do right because if I go south it opens up no nope, can't deal with this hmm I'm missing a sign somewhere okay so it's Hanzo Hanzo read all the signs in Merman village then search the furniture in the church Go to the big fish and you will join. Uh, that does not seem to work. Okay, let me just look up real quick Hanzo. I thought there was a... Uh, a U after? Yeah, there's a U after. Okay, personality strategy. Getting. 
search the book. Yeah, I, I'm not doing that because that's the Genesis version. Wait, okay. This mention. Doesn't seem. Okay, only mentions how to get them in the original game, which is not it. Yeah, I don't care for his card. Okay. So right next to the war up says floating on the sea. Find the floating library next to the church. You can sign a sign attached to it water that says not the bookshelf. Yeah. But that's in Okay, right after the fight with the master mage. Hold on. So it is if I do F1. Okay, examine the sign next to Worrell Palace. Oh, come on. I'll tap. Just make sure we did it properly. That would say floating uh, on the sea, which I think is this one. So we've done this one. Let's see if it had to be in order. Uh, so next to the library, next to the church, not the bookshelf. I'm not sure. We didn't see that one. Floating library next to the church, which I guess is this one. And there's be a sign here. To it in the water that... Oh, was it there before? Was it there? I remember this, but I didn't see it earlier. I'd have to go check the video. Okay, not the bookshelf. After the fight with Master Mage, the reef will be filled with water. Yep. Across the pyre, spire. I didn't see it. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Across the spire. At the church, examine the basket. Yep. Something about a fish. Go to the fish. Cool. I am not Musashi. I don't know if he meant to kill Musashi. On the guide, they compare him to, um... Oh, what's his name? To, uh, Zylo. But he's also low, low level in this one, and he's upgradable compared to the original version. Okay. Uh, and the card. Okay, so that solves it. His card is later on. Uh, GBA uh, Musashi card, because it is here, I'm pretty sure. Uh... Okay. Yeah, see, for me, it says chapter 7 for the card, not chapter 5. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure you need to have Musashi in the group before getting his card. So, I'm going to double check. Because there was something here, I think it was here, but probably later. So anyway, if I miss a card, it's not a huge deal. Those characters are still great and I have lots of characters that can I can use their cards with. Now, one thing I've never tried, it's probably scripted that you can't. He asks for like a million gold. So I'm gonna save. One, two, three, whatever, four. I'm gonna get Cheat Engine out. Because I've never been able to get the amount of gold he asks for. So, sell. Cheat engine. Uh, it's on desktop. Okay. I mean, it's a single player game. There's no problem with using a cheat now and again. Okay. And then first scan is... How much money do we have? 
We can sell some seeds. Okay. Three, four, three, seven, three. Three, four, three. Three, seven, three. First scan. <laughs> it gave me the answer right away. Wow. Okay, so that's 34,000. Two zeros. I think it's impossible because he's going to want a million and the max gold is a million. Yeah, he wants a million gold. It's impossible. You don't have a million. I'm one gold short. Yeah. He doesn't matter. He doesn't care. Okay, so we're going back. Uh, Hanzo's in the group. Oh yeah, he's level one. But I think level one unupgraded. So it's gonna take some time to, uh, to bring him up. That's why you're gonna want his card, just to speed things along. Okay, do we have anybody this way? No, nothing. Okay. Forward. March. Oh, he's quick for level one. It starts with 26 HP at level one. That's pretty nice. I think, though, it takes away from Xylo, with the amount of characters that are very similar to him. Oh, I forgot to give boost. That's okay. So, Domingo's gonna be a bit weak until he gets his freeze three. After that, though, he becomes a powerhouse. But mainly, I use him as a ranged character. That's, that's all I got for him, you know? He's not a fighter. Ugh! Doged. Fast forward, I'm only tapping the button lightly. Ah, still slow. It seems. Is that really six? One, two, three, four. Did you not equip the ring? Did I not give him the ring? I thought I did. Okay, I'll have to double check. Yeah, level one and he's already just wrecking everything. Missing. Okay, Zuka needs a, bo a boost. This is a flyer.
Close, but not enough. Oh, whoa! You wrecked it. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was the last fight that would uh, that did that, but. Elude. I don't think I ever used that spell. It is crazy because there's there's so many games out nowadays that I still can't go back to. I don't know what made it made this game replayable, to be honest. Because I know it's super basic. I get it. I could have attacked and then came back. I don't know, some there's some charm to this game, you know. But the new game plus function definitely. Uh, works for me and I wish more games employed it I don't know we'll see in like 10 10 more years what other games you know make you want to replay them you know once a year or so Mostly games that rely on graphics, I don't think you are worth replaying. It's only the ones that have really solid gameplay. Okay, level up. Yeah, pretty weak level up. But he's already pretty strong. Mainly he's strong because he starts with an upgraded, like a promoted weapon. Basta. I can't use it yet though. But it would be good if you planned on using um, Amon or Bal Balbasak, whatever? Anroy? I don't forget her name. The two uh, flying Sky Knights. Alright, chapter 6. Mahato. Oh, yeah, I think they. Um they added this. Your kingdom is falling apart. Sure. We're gonna get blue. And they gave me his card, I believe. And if I plan on using him, I may as well get it, because he might need the uh, the help. Ah! Yay! Yes. There's also a Lyle here, which I'm not sure if I'll uh, be able to fit him in. Dragon gods forever. Wait, is this where you get Musashi? No, not one after the other, do you? Yeah, he's a bit of a crybaby.
I think we get blue after this. Wait, we come back to this place, I think? Yeah, you want a book filled with secrets? These change, no way. Wait, I think I know. There's something about this town. I think Muzashi is here. Hey, right, Lyle. Lyle's not bad. I heard that he's not as strong as the other ones from a wiki or whatever, but um, I guess it all depends on your luck. He's just not quick in forests, unlike the other archers. Because he's part horse. <laughs> yeah, that sign over there. Okay. Okay, none of this I can equip. Holy mace, maybe. Okay, so what you want to do here, though, uh, is buy the stuff. Because uh, I'm going to be grinding in, like, a fight or two. Uh, and upgrading everybody. I might need this. Item box is going to carry it. I'm not using any mages. I'll buy a battle axe. Now, the nice thing is there is an item box. It's not like when you're playing uh, on Genesis version. The Chrome Lance, I'll buy. I probably wouldn't have enough if I didn't just give myself some money. But maybe if I sold everything, it might be fine. Uh, I have two spear users. I have one sword user, but I already have a... A steel sword, so that's it. Any deals? Oh, Raging Drum is actually better. Okay, let's buy it. Ogre Slayer. Probably Golems. Duelist? I don't think it's going to be as good, so... What rings do you carry? Good, sir. No rings, okay. Alright, so that sign I think is where Musashi is. Uh, did I get Narsh's card? I forgot to go on the boat to check out on Moloch. Dick! Okay. Zuko gave me his card. Art. Did you? Hey. Hey, that was it. I'm not sure. I may have it, but uh... okay. Another problem. Uh, items. Guns. Guns. Why did you not equip the card earlier? Did it warn me that he was full and? Wait, does it work better this way? Agility ring. Yeah, put it on. Okay. Okay, nothing to see here. Nope, the chicken got away. Oh, she caught up. Huh. 
Ha! Huh. They scripted her to be faster. White fluttering. Something with the shirts, right? Mmm, it's all vague. Yeah, yeah, blur. I know you talk a lot about them, but uh, we'll have to check on them. Holy staff. I just bought one. <laughs> okay, kid, move those boulders for us. Okay, I talked to everybody in case there would be a card. Yeah, we're gonna go check out on them. Because they even allude to saying that he's weak as, you know, as a baby dragon, but... I mean, if a kid can move them, per sure an adult could. Okay. Retreat? Yes. This way? It's kind of a weird layout. You don't want to exit, so don't sprint. Okay, you can sprint now. The boy. Which boy? I'm not sure if you could just exit and come back, but... No! No? Okay, we start room and we have Lyle. I'm pretty sure Musashi is here. Yeah, you're pretty strong. White fluttering boy. Is this when you go check this shirt out? Search the statue. I think it's over here. And Musashi. He's just gonna be in your uh, inventory or whatever. So he joins. Okay, cool. That's not how you get him in the uh, original, so. It kind of skews the dynamic of the fights, though, a little bit. Uh, I didn't give him any items, but that's fine. So now we're finally full, which means I'm probably not going to bring the assault kit. Assault knight. Because I'm going to try blur for uh, once. Because what's going to happen if I can't... Because a lot of times you'll need backup with Kokishi. So. Kokiki? I don't know. Um, so I need to give him another flyer to keep up with him. That's how I feel. So I won't have Lyle. Even though it's great to have a ranged character on bosses, I think it'll be fine. And then we'll play around with some of the characters we haven't used. We'll use them on the next turn, next fight, or whatever. New Game Plus. No sense giving him XP that he's taking from somebody else. And the next fight is my grind spot. If it takes too long, I'll... I'll see, like, we're at... An hour and ten minutes right now. And after that, it's pretty quick to, uh, to finish the game. It's only a few grind spots.
Most mech aircraft are going to do great here. They have good mobility. Let's boost some of you. Actually, Gort's gonna fall behind on speed. Maybe I should give him the turbo booster, turbo pepper. I mean, if everyone's got high mobility, you know, the slower characters are gonna suffer. But, I'm curious how far I can get before the game actually gets difficult. I don't think they'll move up. There you go, Musashi. Oh, they do move up. <laughs> Three. I was more worried, you know, like ten. It, it could have attacked. That's weird. It's not the first time the AI has been as stupid. In the original, they were very scripted. You can sometimes move to like three tiles away and they wouldn't move. If you knew uh, the fights. Golems may or may not spawn in time because we might be able to go faster than they spawn and Sometimes when you're not not upgraded the golems can cause a bit of a problem But uh, I'm not too worried because I mean I'm higher level than usual And I haven't ground any levels yet or grinded It won't take long to level most of my characters because you get 48 x speed just for hitting them uh, for quite a while and that's usually my the factors that I use when I'm uh, leveling up in this game or most of these games if you get max amount of XP just for killing a unit you may as well just level up it, you know it's gonna give you a decent enough boost Keep up. Uh, that's also why I think it's Vandal Arts. Vandal Heart? I think it was that one where you couldn't grind, as far as I remember. You had to use everybody efficiently. OBS having a hard time. Okay, Musashi's a bit slow. Maybe he'll get the pepper. Ah. I don't think they can attack from close up. And he got a boost. Let me take a chance. I mean, it's just a death. Thought it's gonna be game over. Might be. Might be a dead. Yep. It was worth a shot. If I would have known, I would have used them twice and it would have been uh, the end of the fight, I think.
But with backup from another flyer, it would have been fine. I just, oh, cards. There we go. I might lose two characters here because I got careless. Super attack. I guess he crits a lot. Wait, does he still not have his heat axe equipped? He would be better with, with the heat axe on. Yeah, he's gonna need some movement speed. Yeah, he's gonna die too. Ha! Okay, that was bad of me. Especially one that has a card active. But don't feel bad. If you're struggling here a little bit, um, because you haven't ground any levels or don't have the right gear, I think you're supposed to be starting to promote your characters here. That's the the plan, maybe for the from the devs. But uh, I really want to wait till level twenty. And then here he can he can shine. He might die too. I'm just gonna play a little bit careless. Just to get it done and over with. Ah, uh, the mage just gotta go. I'm not sure when his turn is, but. Oh! The only spell we have to be careful of is uh, lightning. There we go. 38. Oh, okay, I didn't end the fight. Never mind. So, uh, my fault. Oh, him too. Well, he hasn't been leveling. Did you do revive? No. I miss... I miss some of my things. And if you're trying to level up mages, the next fight is really easy because if you have any AoE on them, uh, the enemies start pretty clumped up and I think within the first or second turn you can reach them. Speed. Screw you, Xylo. Speed. Okay. I mean, made some bad judgment calls. Totally fine. Probably gonna be the worst fight I've done and will do the whole game. I just underestimated uh, all the enemies here. Broadsword. Hmm. That's better than a steel sword, right? 
But I sort of did it with the, uh... With the, uh, bonus. Okay, you don't sell anything special. Deals? No. Okay, so the nice thing about here... Okay, just explore everywhere. The double doors is not where you want to go. Okay. Unintelligible. That's probably not intel unintelligible. You're just not smart enough to read them. Maybe a different language. Another broadsword. There's only one character that uses swords, though. Or at least the broadsword that I'm using, anyway. The two birds would use them. Maybe we'll make that team next. Okay, let's not go in here yet. Okay. Really? Okay, yeah. Halberd? That is a nice weapon as well. I do wish... The only thing I, I would like to see more about a game similar to this would be more promotion options. So, I think Fire Emblem does have something like that, where you can be either like a, a knight, then a paladin, and then maybe like a, I don't know, another class. But uh, I'd like to have more options like that, or multiple. So, you upgrade once from a squire, then you turn into a knight or fighter or whatever. And then you turn into, I don't know, let's say your choice becomes either a paladin or a phalanx or an avenger. You know, maybe you have a multiple branches you can get to so like prestiging let's say into those classes but then you could maybe that's what i've always wanted to see is um turning into a class that i don't know maybe your knight no longer wants to be a knight you know you want to level him up a bit more of a mage less specialized more you know jack of all trades Which typically is bad in most games to be too much jack of all trades, but so almost like a middle ground between uh, Divinity Original Sin, where you can do everything, or Original Sin Two at least. So maybe a middle ground from that to some more specialized. But balancing is probably hard to do, but. Mm. What do I know? It's all about the player. Cool, we have Blur. I think that's our team. Shower mm -hmm. Okay, but who gives us Blur's card? I think we get it later. Uh, the other thing is, can he take on, let's say a Holy Mace. Because I think it can heal people. Usable only by Narsha. I don't know if that means that she's the only one that can use it or equip it. Okay. Uh, Kokishi has the... Because here's the problem. He's usually pretty weak. So I'm going to give him the power ring to give him a boost. So that he doesn't only do like one damage. That's been a problem I've had with him in the past. And the shitty part is uh, card wise. Um, he's the only one. I don't have a card. I think him. Okay. Him, Musashi and Hanzo. So there's three characters that are going to take a long time to level up here. Because I want to get them to 20 before upgrading them. And it says the double doors. I'm guessing it's here. Get it? That's the only building I can think of. There's double doors. And I don't think I'm getting a card from here. 
Okay, I think he told me to go rest or save or something and then come back. Or do the fight and then we can move on. Uh, speaking of that, let's check in on Moloch. Because your card is not friendship, right? No. Nope. He's like, sorry, I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. Okay, nothing from you. Okay, nope, nothing. Get. Okay. So, here goes. If it takes too long, I'll just step away. Um, but this is how I usually level. Oh, wait, hold on. Retreat? Yeah. <laughs> I have five dead. This is why permadeath is kind of fun. Because then you actually have to make, you know, uh, careful decisions sometimes. That's why XCOM. At first I hated it, and then I realized, wait, that's part of the... Ta the, the game, you know? Most of this, yeah, on the second turn, you're just gonna be killing the golems, and then that's it. You're gonna just do that with the characters you're trying to level. Right now, it's everyone. I thought you could reach them earlier, but I don't think so. Do you have magic? Sleep. I don't usually pay attention to sleep. Who needs sleep anyway? Okay, and for her. Narsha, just boost, and that should give her 48 if you have enough people in in the AOE. So help out Blur, whoever you're trying to level up. So 21. If I would have killed it, probably would have gotten 48 or close. So you're level 15, it's probably, yeah, killing an 18. How much do you get? 48. So it's, it is the best place I've found to level up, but I don't think of another good place. This, especially pre-promotion. That will lead you to that promotion level. But you just saw Zuka only did one damage. So he's one of those characters I have to position that's probably going to benefit from boost. Everybody else should be fine, though. Those golems are pretty tanky. So maybe consider giving him a power ring until he levels up. So... Doesn't matter, because they're all pretty close. We'll start bringing cards for characters that are not very uh, high level. I assume he's gonna do one damage. Oh, super attack. Never mind, he critted. So, the characters that are strong, what I recommend is don't kill with them if you can help it. Uh, and leave the, the weakened ones for the others. But, characters like uh, Domingo. I shouldn't have hit that one because I could do some AoE with them. 
Hmm. Let's leave that for blue. Maybe attack? Yeah, it's pretty weak. I was hoping the AI wouldn't be as smart as uh, I guess the changes now. Because in the past, he probably would have just hit the Mingo. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure... Well, I don't know. Maybe he can... Doesn't do that much damage. I mean, he needs the XP anyway. 48. He did, like, 10. But the mages are not worth that much, I... If I remember correctly. Yeah, he killed one outright and only did 12. So it's really the golems and the gargoyles. Nope, not egress. Not yet. I don't need angel, will angel wings. Maybe it is the uh, the gargoyles you want to target for getting to twenty one or twenty. Hmm. Yeah, he's weak. Attack? Okay, at least one attack. Eventually he'll catch up. Ah, shit. That backfired. Can you bring it back to one damage? So, the thing with this, though, is Moloch's never gonna level. It's never gonna get it up. Uh, I'm not sure how to deal with it. Maybe from the early game, you just level him up. But he's not that good, so... Speed... He's gonna let us down. Okay, 8! That's not bad. That's not bad for level 9. I don't remember him breathing fire, though, so... Where's that? Now, you don't have to go all the way, but if you have flying characters that are quick, you could go and attack them and leave these, you know, for everybody else. Yeah, okay, so you want the gargoyles, it seems. Now, that's everybody. You could also uh, put on uh, the wings to escape the fight, so you don't have to wait for uh, your main character to do egress. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, never mind. Hey, I don't have wings, do I? Does anyone have the ring I mentioned earlier? No. Okay, you definitely don't have the ring. You probably don't. Rousing ring? That's not it. I thought it was the agility ring, but... I don't think I'll get in there, but... That's the main idea. I just wasn't prepared with my mana. Might as well get some more XP out of it. Oh, 
Oh my god. This is so bad. Okay, well, these uh, Dullahan. These guys are also pretty good for XP, though. It's just usually it's faster to just do the first two turns and then walk away. And you don't want to kill, uh, what's his name? Kane. He might be able to kill, uh, Guns one hit. But that's okay. Money's not a problem right now. Or ever if you have Cheat Engine. One hit kill. You get freeze three? Oh, not yet. Okay, I'm pretty sure he can't kill him one shot, so. 10 XP. <laughs> Was it worth the 1 XP, Gort? Nope. So, 500 gold for that 1 XP. I'm gonna save. I don't know how long it's gonna take, so let me do it at least a couple times effectively. Just feel free to skip to the end of the video and see what I ended up doing. I've never liked grinding on screen, so shouldn't start now. Yeah, I think this is the line. Usually I would do this while watching a movie or something. It doesn't take too long. Uh, right, let's boost blur. I should uh, try to get a spot with Zuka in it, because it's not going to take forever to level him up. Aura 2 is a pretty big heal. Can you reach? Wait, now I can do Supernova one and actually I can do both I got enough uh, mana to do it and egress yeah you can go up one I think you'll be fine I might get targeted by the mage though but It does go pretty quickly when uh, when you've started promoting people and then you decide I think around level six or seven promoted is a good a good level for me anyway but but yeah the gargoyle I should be hitting with higher level characters Okay, that's not a good position. Then he's gonna kill two. I don't need him to kill two, maybe one. Just to spread the XP around. It's not like you can get 100 XP from one hit. Not like Tactic Ogre. Or 99, I think it was, but. Oh! 
My gun stay. Sixteen XP is not much. I'm not sure if I'll keep the power lance after I level them up. Whoa, seventeen. Was that a crit? I didn't pay attention. Okay, and that's it. And he didn't even get to hit anything. Probably just wasting time now. So, giving those wings out could be a good idea. You can't go buy more though, so once you're out, you're out. Is worth it. Okay, no one's ready yet. So that took me. Let's have a look. So 42. Let's see. Yeah. Say at 43, I start the fight. Whoever is close to like 18 or 19 should go up. I should upgrade Zuka if he's gonna get a hit in. Oh, yeah, someone did die. That's why Blur is not in the right place. So it might seem long to get to 20. Maybe you could do it at 19. It might not, you know, 19 versus 20 is probably not a big difference. But compared to level 10, it's worth it. Do more than one, please? Okay. Probably swapping his card because he's lagging behind. And Blur's not very quick. That's another problem. So who could we replace him with, though? That's an issue. No new spell. Hmm, if I go if I move up he's gonna die. Or maybe he's soaking the hit. It's still ten XP. He's got a long way to go to 5 and 2. It's a nice level. Long way to go to 20 and then upgrade, but... Uh...
Come on, 20. Alright, that's probably what I'll do, because now it's already been three minutes of me just bashing on the same stuff. It's gonna be very very repetitive, so I might. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do it after this. We'll see, because I think it's gonna take five minutes per run. Even with the fast forwarding. But I think you get the idea. And plus, Musashi is level 1. He's got to gain like 26 levels to catch up to everybody else. And we'll see. What I'll do is uh, I'll check the stats out really quick. Is there a weaker one? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Zuka, <laughs> you're not putting on a good show here. He is usually good. Usually. A guns is dead, so. Yeah, plus I'm having issues with OBS. So a kill only gave me 6 XP. So yeah, the golems are not the ones you want. Uh, you want to kill the... Uh, Anybody that's about 18 or higher, you want to kill the Gargoyles. Or the Dalahans. Dalahans? And then you start getting a ton of XP again when you fight the robots. Which is much, like, much later in the game. Cool, well that's it for that. And good timing. Alright, so this took me... Let's say four minutes. No, oh, it's 42. So let's say, yeah, five minutes. Just pretty much on the dot. Um, one thing I'll do... I'll revive. Yeah, he needs to level. What I can do, though, is just pull him off the field for a bit. That way I don't even have to worry about them once they're at the right level. Um, shift F1, F2. Because this is going to be recorded. Well, this is being recorded. So, if I look at stats, this is what I'm going to have. I'm going to go through all the characters. And I'll have a look and compare. Maybe I'll leave it in the description what I ended up with. And I would level. So. And then kill attacks. No, class doesn't matter. It's just the HP. Actually, kill attacks. Who's got the highest amount of kills? I would have thought it would have been Max. He's only killed 18? Wow. Because then... Okay, he's been in uh, for a bit now. And Gort. Yeah, between the two, but I would have thought it would have been more. That's why it was pretty quick. Anyway... Cheers, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'll try to be back uh, uh, soonish. Tanya goes to work this week, so I'll have some time. Uh, have a good day, and uh, catch y'all next time uh, right here with uh, upgraded, promoted everybody. Cheers.